let's talk about your cooktop. This particular unit has a Dometic two burner glass top cooktop with an electronic igniter. A lot of our trailers have a Suburban two burner cooktop without an igniter. And the, we even do a lift up countertop recessed cooktop. All operate very similar to this same way, except where I'm gonna use the igniter on this one, you just use a match. So on this particular one, you turn the dial to the on position and you press it in until it lights. Hold it for a second and then release it and you're ready to go. You can change it to the desired setting for whatever you're cooking and that's pretty much it. The other burner lights very same way and when you're done, you just turn it to off. The other thing to point out is the range hood operation. There's a couple things I'd like to point out. One is on the outside of the trailer. Let's go take a look at that. To open up the exterior damper on the outside, you press these two tabs and it allows the flapper on the inside to open up. When the trailer's not in use, it's recommended that you push this tab back down to keep water, bugs, things like that from getting in your trailer. Now you're ready to turn your fan on. The range hood is equipped with a light and a fan. Now that the damper is open, you can turn the fan on and it'll exhaust all the heat and smells out of the trailer. Let's move on to the microwave. Now your microwave is going to operate very similar to the one at your house. You will need to have your trailer plugged in or the generator on and running for the microwave to work. All you do is press the desired time, press start, very similar to the one at your house. <music> 